What happened to the Irish accent? The Irish accent? Yeah. Uh, well, that comes and goes. It all depends on who I'm talking to. So by the end of this interview, I might be back into the brogue. <laughs> <laughs> Pierce Brosnan is an Irish actor, film producer, activist, and environmentalist. He's probably best known for starring in the James Bond movies. Aside from the Bond films, Pierce Brosnan also starred in dozens of movies. The movie GoldenEye earned him a Saturn Award nomination for Best Actor, as did Tomorrow Never Dies. Through the other Bond films, Brosnan has won an Empire Award for Best Actor, as well as several Best Actor nominations. He also starred alongside Meryl Streep in the film adaptation of the ABBA musical Mamma Mia. In 1997, he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard. In 2003, Queen Elizabeth II made Brosnan an honorary officer of the Order of the British Empire. As an Irish citizen, he was not able to receive a full knighthood. There were the normal kind of theatrical tensions and conflabs about the script and people fighting, and not fighting physically, but just wanting for the best ideas to win. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Pierce Brendan Brosnan. He was born on May 16, 1953 in Drogheda County, Louth, Ireland, making him age 67 at the time of this production. He stands at 6 feet 1 inches tall or 1.86 meters. Brosnan's hobbies and interests include paddle boarding, golf, painting, hiking and cycling. His favorite food is pasta and chicken tikka. His favorite drink is martini. His favorite book is Grapes of Wrath. His favorite perfume is green Irish tweed. His favorite music is The Who, Pink Floyd, John Mayo, The Clash, and Bruce Springsteen. His favorite movie is Taxi Driver. His favorite Bond movie is From Russia with Love. His favorite pet is his dog. Brosnan married twice, was widowed once, and has five children and three grandchildren. In 1994, Pierce Brosnan started dating Keely Shea Brosnan after meeting in Mexico. They married on August 4, 2001. They have two sons, Dylan, born January 13, 1997, and Paris, born February 27, 2001. Actress Catherine Kinley and Pierce Brosnan dated from November 1993 to March 1994. German model Tatjana Paditz and Pierce Brosnan dated in 1993. Julianne Phillips and Pierce Brosnan dated in 1993. Barbara Orbison and Pierce Brosnan dated briefly in 1989. In 1977, Pierce Brosnan started dating Cassandra Harris. They married on December 27, 1980, had a son Sean on September 13, 1983. Brosnan also adopted her children, Charlotte and Chris, after their father, Dermot Harris, died in 1986. And she's standing there looking at me saying, you, you taking the piss? I said, no, I'm not taking the piss. Madge, Madonna. <laughs> Pierce Brosnan is the only child of May and Thomas Brosnan, a carpenter. Brosnan's father abandoned the family when Pierce was an infant. When he was four years old, his mother moved to London to work as a nurse. From that point on, he was largely brought up by his maternal grandparents, Philip and Kathleen Smith. After their deaths, he lived with an aunt and then an uncle, but was subsequently sent to live in a boarding house run by a woman named Eileen. Brosden was brought up in a Roman Catholic family and educated in a local school run by the De La Salle brothers while serving as an altar boy. After leaving school at 16, he decided to be a painter and began training in commercial illustration at St. Martin's School of Art. While attending a rehearsal for a workshop at the Oval House, a fire eater was teaching people how to eat fire, and he decided to join. 
He later trained for three years as an actor at the Drama Center London. Graduating from the Drama Center in 1975, Brosnan began working as an assistant stage manager at the York Theatre Royal, making his acting debut in Wait Until Dark. Within six months, he was selected by playwright Tennessee Williams to play the role of McBabe in the British premiere of the Red Devil Battery Sign. He continued his career, making brief appearances in films such as The Long Good Friday 1980 and The Mirror Cracked 1980. He became a television star in the United States with his leading role in the popular miniseries Mansions of America. In 1982, Brosnan moved to Southern California and rose to popularity in the United States playing the title role in the NBC romantic, often comedic detective series Remington Steel. In 1986, NBC canceled Remington Steel. Brosnan was offered the role of James Bond, but the publicity improved Remington Steel's ratings and it was renewed, contractually requiring Brosnan to return to the show. This caused Eon Productions to have to look elsewhere for the new 007. The producers instead hired Timothy Dalton for The Living Daylights 1987 and License to Kill 1989. Legal disputes between the Bond producers and the studio over distribution rights resulted in the cancellation of a proposed third Dalton film in 1991. On June 7, 1994, Brosnan was announced as the fifth actor to play Bond. In 1994, Brosnan became the fifth actor to play the secret agent James Bond in the Eon Productions film series, starring in four films from 1995 to 2002. GoldenEye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World Is Not Enough, and Die Another Day. He lent his likeness for Bond in the video game GoldenEye 007, The World Is Not Enough, James Bond 007, Nightfire, and James Bond 007, Everything or Nothing, providing his voice for the latter. During this period, he also took the lead in other films, including the epic disaster adventure film Dante's Peak 1997, and the remake of the heist film The Thomas Crown Affair 1999. Since leaving the role of Bond, he starred in such films as the musical romantic comedy Mamma Mia 2008, the Roman Polanski-directed political thriller The Ghost Rider 2010, and the action spy thriller The November Man 2014. Riding horses on the beach. So, very cool, very romantic, very cinematic, very joie de vivre, you know, magic. Pierce earned $4 million for 1995's GoldenEye. That's the same as around $7 million today after adjusting for inflation. He then earned $8.2 million for Tomorrow Never Dies, $12.4 million for The World Is Not Enough, and $16.5 million for Die Another Day. In total, Pierce earned right around $48 million playing James Bond. Pierce Brosnan's net worth is estimated at $100 million. Pierce and Keeley own a number of impressive properties around the globe. In 1996, Pierce, on his own, bought a home in Malibu out of foreclosure for $600,000. He sold his house in 2012 for $2.6 million. In 2000, the Brosnans bought a one-acre beachfront property in Malibu for an undisclosed price. They tore down the existing home and built a 13,000-square-foot Tahitian-style mansion that sits on 120 feet of ocean frontage. Over various summers, Pierce and Keeley have rented the house during summer months for $250,000 per month. A fire in 2015 destroyed part of the home, including the garage, which housed severely, extremely valuable cars, including the 2002 Aston Martin V12 Vanquish made famous by the 2002 Bond movie Die Another Day. The home was damaged again in November 2019 during the Woolsey fire that destroyed large portions of Malibu. Today, Pierce's Malibu house is estimated to be worth $20 to $25 million. In September 2019, the Brosnan spent $2.4 million on a relatively modest home in Santa Monica, California. Outside of California, the Brosnans own a multi-home compound on the Hawaiian island of Kauai near Anini Beach. Nearby neighbors include Bette Midler, Mark Zuckerberg, and Ben Stiller. Pierce Brosnan's car collection includes a Ford F-150, an Austin Martin V12 Vanquish, 
a Range Rover Vogue HSE, a BMW 750i, a BMW i8, and a Ford Anglia.